this is what your capping and station capping station and pump look like inside the machine. It's located directly behind that splash guard. What you want to do is reach inside and remove the hose from the little clip that's on the pump. Just pull it gently towards you like this. Now your hose is free to attach the uh, other hose to. The next step is to attach the hose to the hose that's on the pump. There's a little white clip underneath the splash guard. If you do not have this clip on your machine, you can use one of the wire ties to secure the hose. Just push it through the hole and tighten down on the hose. You want to install the hose into the clip and make sure it's in there all the way. Then attach it to the hose from the pump. Just press it together. After you have attached your hose, make sure to check that the print carriage does not hit the hose when it comes over the capping station. You can tell just by looking up underneath and uh, make sure there's enough clearance that the hose will not touch anything that's moving. Before you uh, stick the pads onto the frame, make sure the surface is clean and dry. I like to locate one in the corner, press firmly, and the second one right in line with this white piece here. Now we can tie our hoses down. Be careful not to tighten the tie too much where it will crush the hose. But you want it firm enough to hold it in position so when you pull it through your cover, you don't change the position inside the machine. Now we can cut off the excess. Now that our hose is in position, we can put the splash guard back in place. hose in your kit may come a little longer than necessary. I like to keep it as short as possible. Um, a good measurement to use is about 14 inches from the corner of the frame of the uh, machine. Just measure 14 inches and I like to cut it on a diagonal. Now we need to locate a hole in our uh, cover for our hose to come through. This is the template that's provided. All you need to do is cut along the dotted line, position the template on the guard, line up the bottom edge, tape it into position. Before you begin to drill, it's not a bad idea to cover your machine to 
prevent any metal shavings from going into your machine when you're drilling. First you drill a small pilot hole on the target. Now you can remove the template. with the next size bit. The last hole you want to make is going to be a half inch hole. 